It is time now for the PHL New News Report for this Monday afternoon, February 16th, 2015. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. I get 12 new news and nines here, and I top story at noon time here on this Monday afternoon here is in Cairo, where the extremist Islamic State group, which now controls a third of both Iraq and Syria in itself, declared caliphate, has inspired militants in Libya to behead Coptic Christians as they held. Both of the U.S. are woke to a freezing cold on Monday as New England began to dig it out of its fourth winter storm in the month, while the Atlantic region and parts of the south hung down for their own blast of snow and ice. In Copenhagen, Denmark, two Danish sources close to the investigation have confirmed to the Associated Press that the slain coming beyond two deadly shooting attacks in Copenhagen last week was Omar Abdel Ahmed El Hussein. In Monrovia, thousands of Liberian children in pristine uniforms fought the Back to school on Monday as classrooms opened their doors for the first time after a six-month hiatus designed to stem the spread of the worst T-ball outbreak in history. A new ceasefire in Ukraine is teetering on the brink of collapse as Ukrainian government forces and pro-Russia separatist rebels accusing each other of violating the truce around the key town which each side claims as under its control. Danish Jews will turn down Nenanu to call an immigrant to Israel as community leader thinks Israeli PM but says terror will not drive Denmark's Jews to Israel. A veteran Russian singer who voiced support for Russia's annexation of Crimea has been subjected to the EU sanctions in a new blacklist published by the European Union on Monday. The convicted drug traffickers from Australia, France, Brazil, Ghana, Nigeria, Indonesia, and the Philippines are face a firing squad. The owners of Nutella manufacturers Ferrero Group passed away Saturday at age 89 as Michel Ferrero, the world's richest candy maker whose Nutella chocolate and hazelnut spread helped raise generations of Europeans and defined Italian sweets. In Sacramento, California, California state prisoners are killed at a rate that has doubled the natural average in sex offenders account for a disproportionate number of victims according to an Associated Press analyst at Corrections Records. In Las Vegas, the 40s are doing everything they can to hunt down the suspect who shot a Las Vegas mother in an apparent road rage attack while she was teaching her daughter how to drive. Congressional Democrats are arguing that approximately 4 million uninsured who are now owed tax penalties should get a second chance to sign up from Obamacare. As it turns out, not everybody is bummed about winter weather. The weather channel's Jim Cantor proves that a little thunderstorm can be caused for a ruckus celebration that puts many touchdown dents into shame. In Paris and Brussels, debt played in Greece and EU pay master Germany drew firm battle lines as Eurozone finance ministers began crunch talks on Monday on the future of an unpopular international bail for Athens with EU officials pessimistic. Amazon won't let the Federal Aviation Administration kill its dream of a drone delivery service, despite new proposals released over the weekend that seemed to shoot down the e-commerce giant's aerial ambitions. U.S. Light sweet crude oil prices closed more than one BBL higher on the New York market on February 13th, and Brit crude oil prices settled more than two a barrel higher on the strong economic indicators from Europe, where stock markets ended for oh, a week at seven year highs. Gas prices averaged about $2.29 a gallon Monday morning across the Great Rapids, Michigan metro area. Hartford, Connecticut, for anyone betting on the Northeast Casino Bazanza, the odds are long on projects and financial expectations. Verizon has clinched its top spot being the best wireless career in the United States, according to the Root Metrics Report. According to the report, the company showed an outstanding performance in the second half of this year in comparison to the other three. In New York, with a measure of an anniversary hoopla, perhaps exceeded not only by the nation's bicentennial, Saturday Night Live celebrated its 40th season. On Sunday, with a three and a half hour gala of stars left some memories here, and Sarah Palin had taken part in the sketch in which Jerry Seinfeld had chatted with several famous members of the audience. A Rihanna Grande performs at NBA All Star Game in New York City. Fifty Shades of Grey is a Hollywood anomaly, and not only because it features a line about. Oh, let's skip that here. The vast plume was initially spotted by amateur astronomers in 2012, and have heard twice before vanishing. Scientists have now analyzed the images and say that the, say the formation stretches for more than 1,000 kilometers as large as any seen before. 
Why does star burst count these bursts? Now, scientists may have found at why the second cluster of star forming clouds at the heart of NGC 253, a star burst galaxy close to the Milky Way. And I just experimented showing what the sun might look like cruising the surface of the Titan's Kraken Mare. A new study found the strain called CRF 19 is capable of transforming it from an infection to full bone AIDS within just three years. Foods investors have stripped almost $15 million from the Griff's Market Valley and Patty's fleet in the wake of a hepatitis A scared fleet through its frozen berries. Take a look at Stock Bugger Report here at 12.05. DEX 10.923 for 23, down 40.17. FDSA 68.57 for 05, down 16.47. CAC 47.51.95, down 7.41. Asian Markets. Nikkei 18,004.77 up 91.41. Shanghai 3223.16 up 19.33. HSI 24726.53 up 43.99. US stock market report Dow 1819.35 up 46.97. SP 5296.99 up 8.51. NASDAQ 4893.84 up 36.22. Oil markets 53.10 up 32 cents. Rent 61.95 up 43 cents. And natural gas. 2.887% up 83,000 a point. And a gold, 1231.80 up 4,070 cents. Silver, 17.295 up 1,000 a point. And copper, 2.6125 up 75,000 a point. And a bond, US 10 yield of 2.0469% unchanged. German 10 yield of 0.338% down 9,000 a point. And Germany's 10 yield of 0.457% up 7,000 a point. FX bond, European US dollar 1.1373 down 1,000 a point. U.S. dollar, Germany Zen, 118.39, down 33 cents. And Great Britain Pound, U.S. dollar, 1.5356, down 4,000 a point. A look at the commodities here. Agriculture futures, wheat, 533, unchanged. Soybean, 990.5, unchanged. Corn, 387 and a quarter, unchanged. Sugar, 14.88, down 16 cents. Coffee, 163.20, down $1.35. Cotton 62.70 up 22 cents. Rough price 10.525% unchanged. And cocoa 2,969 up 14. Lot stock features live cattle 153.225 unchanged. Lean on 66.025 and FD cattle 203.85 unchanged. A look at the New England Slurts here at 1207 here in West Greenwich, Manhattan. Motor vehicle accident roll over in Hopkins Hill Road and Fire Department Rescue responding here. And in Waltham, Massachusetts, the third alarm fire at 62 School Street, a building fire. And Boston Police Department officers have provided close to 150 rides to doctors, nurses in need of transportation during today's blizzard here, said Commissioner Evans. He's told that helping people is a big part of what they need to do, and who better help than doctors and nurses trying to get work in the middle of a blizzard, so... Kudos to the Boston Police Department for giving the doctors and nurses who work in the city hospitals of Boston in getting to their jobs, taking care of the people. In sports news, Jameis Winston Mullen weathered to throw at NFL Scouting Combine, and the New York Commissioner Adam Silver's tribute to make a schedule to keep NBA players fresher and is willing to discuss starting the season earlier or ending later. Tonight, the Boston Bruins will be at the TD Garden. No, tonight, the Boston Bruins will be that up in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, taking on the Calgary Flames. Game time, 9 o'clock, which is 7 o'clock in their time. Peter Chelanusa is now 12.08. It's time now for a travel report here on this Monday afternoon here. And it's smooth sailing now with byways in New England there, and seeing 93 on the northbound side slow down through, through Andover here. Route 3 on the southbound side is slow around Route 120 in Burlington. 120 on the northbound side slow around the Burlington stretch around Route 3. Route 3 on the northbound side, side slow down for Marshfield. 95 northbound slow through Sharon doing an exit on 95 on the northbound side. Between exit 7 and 8 in the Foxborough Sharon line, so expect middle A's here. Route 2 slow on both ends from Belmont, all the way down for Fresh Pond Road in Cambridge. 129 on the northbound side slow from the split down for Route 37 in Braintree here. 
495 sold down for the Tewksbury stretch due to some due to an accident on 495 stop out here. But otherwise a smooth sailing commute here on this. Monday afternoon here and on 146 on the step on side and Lincoln went on there. And accident 146 step on Lincoln, so expect some delays there. There will be limited rail and bus services will be available on President's Day on Monday, February 16th, due to the weather here. As the Blue Line, limited Blue Line service will operate between Bowden and Wonderland stations only on Monday. Limited Green Line will operate between Kenmore and Leachman only today with limited, yet limited trolley service on the D branch in both directions. Limited Orange Line will operate between Sullivan and Back Bay on Monday, and no service between Oak Grove and Sullivan or between Back Bay and Forest Stills here. Red Line, limited Red Line service will be available between Alewife and Andrew or on Monday, and there will be no train service between Andrew and Braintree or Andrew and Ashbond. And service on the Mattapan Tri Line will remain suspended on Monday, and limited shuttle bus will be provided. And all bus services on the Silver Line will be experienced to severe delays due to weather related issues here. Okay, take a look at the Career Rail Lines here. A lot of delays due to the Blizzard on Sunday, so if you're on that, if you're going to take the commuter rail, have some patience and be patient, okay? Peter Chell News Time, 12 12. Time now for a weather report here on this late, on this Monday afternoon. Our current editions here in North Massachusetts at 12 12. 13 degrees at temperature with a fair sky. Scribbility at 30%. Wind speed was about 15 gusts and 29 miles per barometer. 29.96 inches super about 13 below. Visibly 9 miles in wind chill about 3 below. Cargo conditions re in the region here on this Monday afternoon here. It is 11 degrees in Boston and in Bedford. It's got 6 degrees. Beverly's got 11. 10 above in Fitchburg. 9 above in Gloucester. 4 above in Worcester. 2 in Sturbridge. 3 above in Webster. 9 in Norwood. 10 in Norwood. 9 in Milford. It's 10 in New Bedford. 11 in Taunton. 12 in Plymouth and in Provincetown. 9 above in Falmouth. 11 in Chatham. 11 in Marfa's Vineyard and in Nantucket, 10 above, above in Block on in the West Fleet, 7 above in Smithfield, it's 16 in New York City, 12 in Innislip, 12 in Montauk, 8 above in Long Island Sound, it's 12 above in Bridgeport, 11 in New Haven, it's 8 above in Danbury, Massachusetts, nope, 8 above in Danbury, Connecticut, it's 5 above in Waterbury, Connecticut, 10 in Meriden, 11 in Hartford, 9 in Winslow, 7 in Springfield, 5 above in Amherst, 12 above in Greenfield, 9 above in Affall, 2 below in Pittsfield, Massachusetts here. Zero in North Ams, two above in Albany, New York, at six above in Saratoga Springs, zero in Rutland, three below in Bennington, three above in Bradbury, six above in Lebanon, New Hampshire. It's nine above in Keene, New Hampshire, six above in Jeff, New Hampshire, six above in Concord, New Hampshire, three above in Laconia, New Hampshire, ten above in Manchester, New Hampshire, New Hampshire, eleven above in Portland, New Hampshire, and thirteen up in Portland, Maine. Near. Okay, take a look at our surface map around the country and shows the cold front switching from Alberta, stretching the name for seven cents after Dallas, Dakotas. Merging with a warm front from eastern Nebraska, stretching it into eastern Kansas here. And you got a station front from western Wyoming, stretching it into western Colorado, down from New Mexico here. And emerging with a cold front from New Mexico, stretching it down from Texas. And emerging with a warm front from northeast of Louisiana, stretching the Gulf states, and stretching it down from northwestern Florida here. Get a front of mine from north central Mississippi, down from Tennessee and Kentucky here. And we got low pressure in western portion of New York State. And we got low pressure in southern Texas, Louisiana, and northeastern Nebraska here. Three above in Detroit, zero in Pittsburgh, 14 in Washington, D.C., 38 out in Atlanta, 72 in Miami, Florida, 71 in Brandsville, Texas, it's 31 in Dallas, Texas, it's 13 in Kansas City, 21 in Omaha, Nebraska, 9 above in Chicago, Illinois, it's 11 above in Minneapolis, St. Paul, it's 18 in Great Falls, Montana, 42 in Seattle, Washington, it's 53 in San Francisco, Las Vegas, Nevada, 55 in Los Angeles, it's 35 out in Salt Lake City, 27 out in Denver, Colorado, with 33 in Port Albuquerque, New Mexico, and 62 out in Phoenix, Arizona here. All right, let us take a look at our... Let's 
Radar situation here shows some spotty snow showers around east central Quebec. Western and East portion of Newfoundland there and a string of snow showers around east New Brunswick down for central portions of Nova Scotia and some snow showers around eastern portions of Nova Scotia and some snow showers from the Virginia stretching down for Wild Valley and stretching around Kentucky around southern Missouri down for northeastern portions of Oklahoma and stretch out of northern Tennessee and sleeting around western Carolina's down for southern Tennessee and stretching down for central Arizona and raining sleet around Texas and raining around northern and western Louisiana, stretching down northern Mississippi, Alabama, and down in Georgia here, and some rain showers around south central portions of Texas here, and some snow showers around spotty snow showers around the central and northern Rockies and down in western Dakotas, snow showers in southeastern portions of Minnesota, and some snow showers in southern and west central portions of Saskatchewan, and snow showers in central portions of Alberta here. And this is going to be our storm for tomorrow. Here. Also, we'll be in the northern fringes of the, the snow here. And we're going to take a look at a satellite loop here. Show some line of clouds coming to much of the eastern portion of the country and coming to much of the Great Lakes around the Tennessee Valley and coming to much of the Gulf States around southeastern Texas. And line of clouds coming to much of the Rockies and up in the Dakotas and up in the Great Lakes. And line of clouds from northwest to west. Washington State, stretch of the British coming and coming to much of the Canadian Maritimes here and coming to clouds much of Norman, Maine and the, and the Canadian Maritimes here. Alright, let us take a look at our forecast discussion around the country here. A highly amplified weather pattern across the United States. Very cold weather continues east of the Rocky Mountains and winter storm from central plains to the Middle Atlantic and rain dry for the western coast. The overall weather pattern over the next couple of days will be featured with a pronounced upper level trail over the eastern half of the country and with a big upper level wedge for the western states. This will keep the west coast and the amount of west warmer than drier than normal and in the central and eastern parts of the U.S. much colder than normal. The drought tears for California and a bunch of the eastern part of west that door appreciably ready to be forecast over the next couple of days here. A major winter storm has now affected a large part of the sub-central U.S. as a surface low tracks across the deep south states and the wide swath of moderate heavy snow expected from Eastern Kansas has extended all the way to the middle of the coast and snowfall beds from 6 to 12 inches are likely for many of these areas here. And farther to the south from Oklahoma to Carolina is a warm layer a lot over the sub freezing temperatures due to the surface expected of salt and widespread sleet and freezing rain creating hazardous and driving conditions here. Showers and thunderstorms are expected from the eastern Texas to the south Carolina coast where much warmer temperatures are expected to be in the warm sector to this storm system here. In addition to widespread precipitation expected, the annual record Cold weather is forecast to continue for much of the upcoming week for the East United States with temperature anomalies on the order of 20 to 30 degrees below average by mid February centers, and this will be the case after yet another Arctic cold front moves back after winter storms depart the East Coast and numerous wet low temperatures expected here. Okay, take a look at a forecast discussion around the region here. Areas of blowing snow and bitter cold will remain a concern this morning. I was expecting diminishing winds later today, and offshore storm system Tuesday will bring the potential for advisory level snows mainly across the location around and south of Hartford, Boston, and snow may linger in a Wednesday especially with a no lunch throw. High pressure along with cold and dry conditions prevail for this weekend here. And 10 a.m. near term update, cold temperatures continue this morning, but the sun is definitely helping the temps to climb off their morning lows. Winds are also slowly diminishing as wind chill valves of the remainder of this morning and afternoon will fall. Short of this advisory warning criteria, it will offer these headlines at the 10 a.m. and otherwise forecast an excellent shape and no other updates here. Okay, take a look at weather notes. How cold was it this morning here? Mount Washington, New Hampshire, 88 degrees below zero. Plymouth, New Hampshire, 33 degrees below zero. Bethel, Maine, 33 degrees below zero. Carabas Valley, Maine, 30 degrees below zero, and Pittsfield, Massachusetts, 12 below zero here. Historic Boston Snowfall, 58.5 inches in set this month, breaking the record of 43.3 inches for the snowiest month in Boston since January 2005, which got 43.3 inches here. At a water temperature of 38 degrees, winds are still whipping fat eastern Massachusetts, putting a frigid right in the air. And today's highs will be in the single numbers in the teens, and tonight's low single numbers in southern New England to below zero readings around northern New England there. And here's the latest on the snowfall for Tuesday here. Heaviest across the south coast of Rhode Island and then Massachusetts, including Cape and the Islands there, and the lower mats north of the line from Hartford to Boston here. 
and snow starts kicking back at about 3 to 4 a.m. Then spreads east and northeast about mid morning on Tuesday, and light to moderate snow is likely to impact the morning commute. Within the slippery conditions of visibility restrictions here, and snow may continue for the afternoon commute, and Eastern Massachusetts and Rhode Island, but will be tapering off. And the snowfall totals look like this. Six to eight inches of snow around the Cape Downs here. Four to six around the Providence and Danfis, South Coast of Massachusetts and Danfis. Seven to eight inches of snow around the Eastern Coast of Massachusetts and seven right down there. And down for block on here. Three to six inches for seven Connecticut and down for Central Rhode Island and down for in for Bristol and Plymouth counties here. One to three inches for line from. Northern Connecticut up to Northern Vermont and up to Eastern Massachusetts, Central Massachusetts, Western Massachusetts, and Eastern New York and up in the Southern Vermont, New Hampshire, and then up in the Maine. Here, okay, let us take a look at our hazard weather outlooks in effect. Here. The hazardous weather outlook for Northern Connecticut, all of Massachusetts, except the South Coastline for Northern Rhode Island. Here, day one, day ten. Please listen. Day one, day ten. Wind chill warning here. Day two for seven. Tuesday for Sunday. For Tuesday, an offshore storm will bring snow to much of southern New England. With accumulation forecast around two to four inches for locations south of the line from Hartford to Boston, and heavier snowfall event. We along the south coast expect impacts of travel in the form of snow covered roads and reduced visibilities here. Thursday and in the Friday morning, wind chill values of 15 20 degrees below zero forecast across the interior southern New England here. All right, take a look at our seven day forecast of blows like this. For Monday will be sun sky high about 16 degrees for this afternoon. Wind chill values as low as four below. West wind about 11 to 13 miles because size 30 miles per hour. For a chance of snow. Main up to 4 a.m. Increase the cause below low around 3 above. West wind about 6 miles per hour. Coming common in the evening and chance of precipitation is 30 percent. Little no circulation expected. For Tuesday, a chance of snow. Main before 5 p.m. Class cause high around 21 degrees. Come wind becoming no around 5 to 7 miles per hour in the morning. Chance of precipitation is 50 percent. New snow curvature 3 to 5 inches possible. For Tuesday, most of the low about 6 above. West northwest wind about 5 to 7 miles per hour. For Wednesday, a chance of snow mean after 5 p.m. Most of the sky about 27 degrees. Wind northwest wind about 5 miles by chance of temperature is 30 percent. What's that? A chance of snow mean before 8 p.m. Most of the sky lower at 7 degrees. Chance of temperature is 30 percent. Friday, most of the park sky about 19 low about 2 below. Friday, Saturday, most of the coast sky about 17 low about 3 below. For Saturday, chance of snow with some mostly sudden most of the sky about 24 low about 40 degrees. Chance of temperature is 35 percent. And for Sunday. Chance of snow, most of the guys about 36 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 40 percent. Here's what a phrase of the day. Yeah, sunny and a freezing afternoon in town. Pure you have a good day. We're good by today. See you for a five o'clock report. Have a good day. I'll see you at five.